Hi, we are at UVic, the University of Virginia Investing Conference, and today I'm here with Greg Turk, Darden Class of 2001. Greg, we just came off this remarkable panel about the future of private equity. Can you share any reflections that you have on the panel? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, had a great time. Panel was great. I thought we covered what we wanted to cover. Um, private equity investing, we think, is here to, here to stay. Uh, we've been investors in private equity since the late 80s. We've generated a very healthy uh, premium to our public markets. Um, that premium in certain parts of our investment uh, uh, a hierarchy has been, you know, five to 600 basis points strong over public markets. And that's, those are the areas that I'm probably the most excited about right now. But uh, the private equity model is here to stay. With that said, you know, 2000, 21 was a year where way too much capital was raised, way too much capital was put to work, and we're somewhat concerned that that capital may not generate as strong of a returns, because usually when you have too much money put to work in that short of a period of time, it can affect uh, the returns, but uh, maybe give it another year or two to work that, work that extra dry powder off, and I think we'll get back to you know, at least, at least kind of mid-teens-ish type of returns going forward. Awesome. And, and with that, given the amount of capital that's been deployed in, in those years, um, during the panel you mentioned that GPs have been really listening to LPs. Is it possible to really expand upon that? Because I also remember that you were saying that they're still not trying to budge on fees. So, so. Fees are still higher than they probably should be. Um, it's very hard to negotiate, um, especially when uh, the returns have been so strong. And, you know, the, the, the weird way to think about the fees is uh, they have been plowing that back into, you know, operational components within their model. Uh, they've hired a lot of new people from sector expertise standpoint or to affect their strategy in another geography. So the fees are high, but most general partners are using that capital to make their investment models that, that, much, uh, that much stronger. Uh, with that said, I'm a big believer in uh, LPs need to stand up for, you know, large LPs need to stand up for smaller LPs. We serve on advisory boards, interface directly with GPs. We have a lot of uh, lawyers that interact with their lawyers to make sure that the, uh, the limited partnership agreement and, and everything else is as sound as possible. So it's a, uh, I always like saying it's kind of a, a frenemy type of, type of relationship where we want to be associated with you, but we're going to try to hold you as accountable as possible. Nice. And being on an advisory board, you know, what's really keeping you up at night? And then what are you looking forward to with regards to the industry? Yeah, what's keeping us up at night is, is the cost of debt right now. Um, you know, three, three years ago, you know, you could get uh, significantly lower debt, which means the return expectations on that, lo putting, you know, 40% or so of your capital structure in that low debt generated uh, pretty good returns. Uh, you know, I can't underestimate how, uh, how, how much the effect of that higher interest rate is going to have an effect on the model, the private equity model. What we think can offset that, though, are some of these operational enhancements that private equity, um, you know, they affect the top line, EBITDA, EBITDA margins that much faster than what the public market can do. And, you know, we feel that the cost of debt can be offset by continuation of really good operational improvements. Greg, thank you for your time and insight. We really appreciate you returning back to grounds. Thank you. Thank you.